This is about guest control, how to make your tour surprisingly flexible without it getting out of hand. Giving options is a very dangerous road to walk as a guide. I've seen the most well-intentioned guides completely lose control of their tour. Um, for example, you know, guests getting it into their heads that they can request whatever catches their eye on a food tour, or they could request whatever stops from a bus, um, which is, as we know, not the case when you have a schedule and certain content to get through. On one hand, I've heard guides swear against any sort of customization on a tour as you can easily lose control of your guests. Another negative aspect of leaving the choice up to your guests is that they can become overwhelmed with something that's called decision paralysis or choice paralysis. And this is a studied theory that shows when someone has too many options, they begin to overthink, they regret the choices that they make, and all that leads to negative emotions, which you don't want on your tour. However, on the other hand, Flexibility for guests can also be an incredible value add, leading to better reviews, bigger tips, and positive word of mouth. So my personal preference, hit somewhere in the middle. Create a flexible atmosphere with clear limitations. And in this article, I'll outline a few easy ways to integrate that into any tour. So here's how to maintain control of your tour with these easy flexibility ads. Number one, give no more than two options. For tours that have options built in already, such as food tours, I limit the choices down to no more than two options, if possible. If you give a beer tour, offer them a light and a dark beer option. For a cupcake tasting, offer a vanilla-based or chocolate-based option. Obviously, you might need some dietary-friendly you know, extra options, but ideally you've already identified those guests who need those special options and you could privately let them know what their third option is just for them, as opposed to announcing it as a full another option for the entire group. I don't know if you can see this puppy here trying to get in on the video. Hi. Hi. Um, there will always be difficult and picky guests, but in most cases I found guests used to being handed their tastings and they're not going to question the lack of options on a tour. It's only when you start to give them the options that they kind of take it and run, if that makes sense. Number two, explain why you've given these specific options. There are some scenarios where a shop or a restaurant has other options on display that will catch your guest's eye. It's sometimes hard to avoid. In these cases, be prepared to explain why you're giving these options or why you're not giving an option at all. For example, on a food tour that I gave, we would pop into a pizza shop that had a ton of different pizza pies on display with all different toppings. It was right in front of the guests to see. So before we would head into the shop, I would explain to my guests that, you know, you're gonna see a lot of options, it might be overwhelming, but I've opted for us to take the cheese pizza um, because I really want them to see the difference in, in the purity of the basic ingredients of this pizza shop. Was that cheese pizza also the cheapest option for the food tour? Yes, but it was also true that I think that's the best option for a tour because if you're comparing pizza, um, if you start putting toppings on it, it's hard to compare, right? Um, so you're kind of explaining already, this is the option I'm giving you and this is why. On a different tour um, where I take guests to have fried dumplings, there was this steamed bun option on the menu that sometimes would catch my guest's eye. So if anyone would ask to try that, I'd simply explain, oh, that one's delicious, but it takes a really long time to order and prepare. So that's why we choose the fried dumplings for this tour. For those guests who simply like to ask questions or observe things out loud, all guides know exactly those types of guests that I'm talking about. Um, transparency goes a long way in satisfying them. They just want an answer when they ask, why can't I have that? Sometimes. Number three, give low stake options whenever you can. So to give guests that feeling of customization and control, give them choices when it makes zero difference to your tour. Let's say you're showing guests around a temple dedicated to two different gods. You can ask the guests, which God would you like to hear about first, this one or this one? As you're going to talk about both anyway, it makes zero difference which one you start with, right? But to your guests, they get to shape what the tour looks like and have some sense of control. And finally, number four, feign customization. Um, when options are naturally built into your tour, um, you know, 
Do we stop in this cute store that we pass? Do we stop for a coffee break? When those options are already there for you as a guide to utilize, play up the fact to your guests that they have that choice. So yes, you might always pop into that really cool chopstick store that you pass on your tour route, but your guests don't have to know that. You can point it out, and if they show excitement, make it seem spontaneous, right? Like, well, if you really wanted to check it out, I think we could still make it to our next stop in plenty of time. Let's let's go in, right? As if it's a nice surprise and they've, you know, gotten to choose that element of the tour. 